Alright, so today we are going to be discussing the Extreme Z Awakening details for the AGL Metal Cooler, as well as the STR Piccolo and Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta, who are also from the Metal Cooler movie. Now, as with, I feel like most EZA reveals, there's been some mixed reactions from the community, specifically for the Metal Cooler EZA. In fact, most of the comments I've read about him so far have been pretty negative. You know, a lot of people are saying that he's not good enough, his defense is trash, and so on and so forth. And I tend to have a slightly different opinion from those people, but we'll talk about that in a second. So why don't we start here with the Metal Cooler first, and before the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Wicked Bloodline Category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or extreme AGL types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack, uh, immense damage, and lowers attack and defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack plus 10%, with each attack received up to 70%. Recovers 7% HP at the end of turn in which attack was received, and core appears when conditions are met. And the conditions are core appears when HP is 50% or less once only. And the core is essentially a giant form transformation. And uh, in this form, his super attack greatly raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage. And there was no passive at all. And this form, I believe, lasts for two turns. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's two turns. And uh, in this form, of course, just like all giant form transformations, you are immortal, and you take no damage until you transform back into the uh, regular Metal Cooler, right? Or reverse, I guess, back to Metal Cooler. So that is before the Extreme Z Awakening. Now jumping over to the EZA details, his new leader skill becomes Wicked Bloodline Category Key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 170%. So no change to the... Uh, stat boost, the HP attack and defense is still 170%. The only change is that you get key plus 4 now instead of key plus 3. And then extreme AGL types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage and lowers attack and defense. Now, it would have been really nice if this was raises attack and defense for one turn because... That would have helped with his defense quite a bit, but unfortunately, it's only attack. And uh, the passive is Q plus 2, attack and defense plus 150% instead of 80%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, with each attack received up to 100%. Q plus 1, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 20% when there is a super class enemy, and then Q plus 1, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 20%, when there is a pure Saiyans category enemy. Recovers 10% HP at the end of turn in which attack was received, and core appears when conditions are met, and the conditions are exactly the same compared to before the Extreme Z Awakening. And with the EZA, the core is uh, very similar actually, but slightly different, slightly different. So the super attack now massively raises attack temporarily, and causes destructive damage, and the passive is key plus two instead of nothing. So of course, that's there because sometimes it can be hard to get the uh, super attack off in this form, so now the additional two key will at least make it easier to, you know, get the super off, right? So uh, that is basically it, guys. That is the Metal Cooler Extreme Z Awakening. Those are all the details. And on paper right now, I think he looks pretty decent. Um, I would put him on the same level as the STR Namek Goku Extreme Z Awakening, and I know some people were not the highest on that EZA, but I thought that one was pretty good, you know, getting like 7 to 8 mil attack stat, uh, getting over 400k uh, defense, especially after you transform into Super Saiyan, you can get, in theory, uh, unlimited defense, right, up to like 6 700k, depending on how long you can stack that for. So I think this guy is on par with the STR Namek Goku Extreme Z Awakening. His damage should be really, really good 
Um, I see him getting, you know, easily over like 7-8 mil attack, maybe even higher depending on the team. And defensively, he should cap out at around, I don't know, like 500k or so, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not like the best we've seen. It's not going to be, you know, totally safe in like red zone or anything like that. But he will be a good defender, you know, after he builds up that defense on his passive. And of course, if you're facing a super class pure Saiyans enemy, then you're getting an additional 40% crit chance, which is really good. And uh, overall, I think it's just a solid Extremes Awakening. Do I think it's amazing? No. Do I think it's close to the best we've ever seen? No, but I don't think he sucks, which is what some people are saying. Is he going to age as well as some of the best EZAs? He's not, right? So I guess in that sense, maybe it's a little bit disappointing because some people were expecting a lot from him, but I think he's good enough. I think he's good enough at least to like, you know, stay around for the next, you know, 6 to 12 months or so. And then we'll see from there. But for now, he should be doing a lot of damage. He should be getting a lot of defense. So I don't have too many complaints about it, honestly. Um, but there you go. Yeah, that is the AGL Metal Cooler Extremes the Awakening. If you guys have some opinions or maybe a different opinion from mine, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But I'm honestly okay with it i'm not super high on it i'm not super low on it i just think it's it's pretty good okay so that is metal cooler now let's quickly take a look at the uh super saiyan vegeta as well as the str piccolo of course a big shout out to the homie goresh for posting these on his twitter page and we'll just talk about the eza details because i'm sure you guys don't care too much about the pre-eza details so starting here with the uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, his passive is going to be attack and defense plus 200% and then 20% chance to perform a crit chance, or sorry, uh, I said that wrong. Attack and defense plus 200% and then plus 20% chance to perform a critical hit, gains an additional attack and defense plus 50% and chance to perform a critical hit plus 20% if there is another movie hero's category ally attacking in the same turn. And then gains key plus 2, an attack and defense plus 50%, and a chance to perform a critical hit plus 30% if HP is 80% or below. And then key plus 2, an attack plus 50%, and a chance to perform a critical hit plus 30% when HP is 50% or below. And a super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage with a high chance to stun. So this guy is kind of like a mini LR full power Frieza, right? Because very similar to the full power Frieza, he's getting stronger and stronger as you lose HP, but even at full HP, he's still pretty solid. I mean, he's getting, uh, you know, up to 250% attack and defense if you have another movie hero's category ally on the turn, and 20% uh, crit chance, right? And then, or no, sorry, 40%, uh, 40% crit chance on his passive, even at full HP. And then as you lose HP, he's getting additional attack and defense he's getting up to i guess guaranteed crit under 50 percent hp which you don't really want to stay at but if you happen to find yourself in that situation um that's going to be some nice damage right so um i don't mind the design here i think it's a pretty good extreme Z awakening once again so that is the oh also of course the high chance to stun it's going to be great for super battle road so yeah, a good unit right there in the Super Saiyan Vegeta. And then for the STR Piccolo, his passive is attack and defense plus 200% randomly changes a type of key sphere other than STR to STR key spheres, and then gains an additional attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. So he is a nuker, and he's also an orb changer, which is a combination that we all like, right? And then key plus 2, an attack and defense plus 50% and 20% chance to perform a critical hit when facing one enemy, gains key plus 6 and performs a critical hit once only when fighting two or more enemies. And passive, or sorry, uh, super attack raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to all enemies with a medium chance to stun. So this dude is tailor-made for world tournament, basically. He is... 
gonna be a, a great alternative to some of the other attack all units like STR Broly or uh, Vegeta and Nappa and so on and so forth. He's gonna be right there with them because he's gonna be doing a lot of damage, right? With that nuking passive and also the orb changing is amazing too. And then he also basically gets um, not a guaranteed super, but close to a guaranteed super when you're facing multiple enemies because he's getting key plus six. And he's also getting that guaranteed crit for, I guess, the first turn he appears, right? So uh, he's going to be amazing, amazing for the world tournament. He's going to be one of the best attack all units there. And then for Super Battle Road, I can see him being really good too because of the attack all, because of the medium chance to stun as well. Um, so yeah, Piccolo is looking awesome. Between the two, I think I'm actually more interested in the Piccolo because of his utility on Super Battle Road and uh, World Tournament, you know? So, uh, both of them are good. I think the Piccolo might be slightly better, but of course it's depending on which events you're running. And uh, we also have, of course, the Metal Cooler, who is slightly controversial at the moment, but I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic about his performance. Of course, we don't know exactly what he looks like, because these are just details on paper, but, uh, I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to be good. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. That's all I really wanted to say. Um, once again, let me know your opinions in the comments. If you agree with me or you disagree with me, that's all good. And uh, that's all I got to say. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And... Yeah, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.